All right, the first thing to do in today's video is go and collect my parcel with this parcel collecting slip. It's just down the road from my house, so we're gonna drive there, grab it. It's something for my car that I ordered like two weeks ago that I've been waiting for. It's gonna make it look much better. And then I have something to tell you. Oh, and I need fuel. All right, we have made it, so let's go and grab the parcel. We need this, and these, and that can stuck. Hey, how are you? Good, thank you. What's your address? What do you mean? Oh, no, wait, Dad. Cool, man. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, I have finally got the package, uh, we won't open this now, we'll open it later, and now I will fill up my car, and then we'll head back home. Oh, I love revving this thing. Alright, we are at the petrol station, this is going to be a quick review of uh, New Zealand fuel prices. This is a 2005 BMW and I have to fill it up with 95 which is about the mid-range petrol. So we're gonna see how much it costs because it's fully on empty. full tank and that cost for the Z06 Z premium fuel was that was 57.8 litres and it cost 131 New Zealand dollars 131 New Zealand dollars just to fill this up from empty so anyone that is curious that's how much it's costing each time I want to fill this up on this up on 95 also, another thing, since um, in the last two weeks, since I haven't been uh, making videos, I have sold the beloved foil F88s. I had no use for them anymore, so unfortunately it was time to go. Um, I still have my F50s in case I ever want to go back racing or if I want to do an odd time trial here or there, but yeah, F88s don't need them. No one in my family needed them, so they are sold. They went off to some guy in Hawke's Bay. All right, so the real reason that we are in a random car park is because I took my <coughs> car into the store again today and we've muffler deleted the first um, main muffler at the end of your car, which usually goes under here. And then it still wasn't loud enough for my likings, so we have taken out the middle muffler as well, which is another small one, about like about this big, and just put a straight pipe through there. So we are gonna see how loud it is and no better place to do it here. Holy fuck, that's loud, we need to get out of here before we get kicked out. <laughs> All right, that's ridiculously loud. I'm very happy with that. One of the best purchases I've made for that car. And now let's go home and unbox this box.
Alright, if you hadn't already worked out what they are, they are new grills for the front of my car. The stock ones are these silver chromey ones. So I've got these matte black with a double slit, there's a single slit. Alright, to get these out, you literally just pull them out. Pretty simple. There you go, there's one. Alright, and here is the new one. Alright, that's those two done. Those are real easy to replace. Now we just have to take these two off, put those two black ones on. I will uh, video it after because the lighting in this room, in this garage is absolutely terrible. So that's the before and then I'm going to change these two and then we'll film it outside after. <laughs> So these are the new grills. They are the double slit matte black. I got them off some probably Chinese website. I can't remember. It was like boongang.com like or some stuff. But either way, that makes the car look so much nicer. Because the ones that came with this were matte black, but they were just those stock ones that you saw that were chrome. And they just painted it matte black, but they slowly started chipping. So I was like, nah, we're going to do it properly. So now we've got the matte black grills and the double slip which is the new design that they put on the M3 series. Cheer!